Did you make these? No, no. These are cool. They're nice though. Yeah. They work. <laughs> is the three different boxes like three different machines or is it all one? Yeah, there are three different machines, I'm pretty sure. Where'd you guys get them? Uh, I'm not sure. My mom, my mom was pretty big into uh, selling machines for a bit. Interesting. So. Does it, they all have like power cords in there and stuff or? You can check. Uh, oh, gotcha. Yeah. Yeah, so they're, they're knitting machines. Gotcha. Do they take power cords or anything, or is it just kind no, of how they are? It's manual. Interesting. I mean, if you do eBay, you can, I mean, you just haven't, uh, you can get, you know, they, they go for a couple hundred bucks on eBay. You know what? I'll take them. I'll leave them there, and then I'll keep looking around, see what else I can find. Okay, this. I'm going to get this too. I'll okay, here. You say that, does that go with it? No, no. Oh, okay, sorry. All right. Here. Dad, do you have any change? With this, yeah. it's 10. Yeah, oh, cool. You're good eye, by the way. That looks like a gray. That looks like a gray. Okay. Yeah. Um, you need to get change. Okay. 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 I can go ahead and settle up with you. I've got um, 155 over there. <clears throat> okay. This is four, 159. Um, that was in your CDs, but if you want to ask more for that, I understand. That's a video game. Yeah, I like see I don't know, like 75 cents or something. Sure. So I think I'm at like 160. 160? Yeah. Though? Yeah, yeah, that's, that's fine. Okay. Let's see if I've got enough in my wallet here. I might have to go back out to the car. I got exactly 160. That was meant to be. Holy cow. <laughs> oh, <yeah. Thank> <laughs> Appreciate it. Yeah. I might have to make a couple trips for the yeah, uh, machines. Yeah, Good morning. How much is your hat? Five. Tell you what, I got five, five, and two. Would you just do ten bucks for the three? Okay. I can give you your hanger back too. Oh, much appreciated. Of course. How much are the dress shirts? I think you said two fifty. Two fifty. Okay. They're a lot. I might look through. Mostly larges, extra larges. I might look through some of that too. There is your hanger back. Thank, Thank you so you. much. Yeah. Dollar. Everything's done. The nail polish is maybe like 25 50 cents. Thank you. Thank you.
I've got um, a pair of shorts and two pair of pants. What'd you need for these? Six. Six Maybe bucks? Five even. Yeah, sure. Thank you so much. Yeah. Good luck Thank with you. the sale. Thank you. Thank you there. Good morning, sir. Good morning, how are you? Good, how are you? Good. Oh, 25 foot off. If you want to hear that, turn it on. Oh, does it work? Play, sure. Thank now, you. Here's the thing. I put five or four or five fresh batteries in it. I cannot find the electric part, but it works fine for the batteries. Well, you just sold it. I'll take it. Okay. Sounds good. It's got all kind. Have you seen it before? You can all have background stuff. Oh, that's cool. You can have background stuff. And the, see. <laughs> oh, that's so cool. And you can have rock, slow music, drum sets. Okay, so all that stuff. I love it. But Thank you, you. Okay, sounds good. There you go. Thank you. Thank you. Good luck with the sale. Have a good day. <laughs> How you doing? How are you? Good. It's a little steam engine. Oh, that's so cool. My grandfather got it from me when he was in Germany. No kidding? Yeah. Wow. It needs a little like packets to burn. I, mean, I see them online for 100 bucks. That's wild. What are you asking for it? 40. 40 bucks. I'll give you 40 bucks for it. You know, the box is in good shape, I can get more money for it, but it's not worth the whole eBay thing. You go. Appreciate it. Yeah, yeah, good luck to you. Morning. Thank you, bud. Good, how about you? Great. How much are your uh, pull toys? Say again? How much are your pull toys? Oh, gosh. Or how much do you want for those full toys? Just... Hi, how are you? Dollar a piece. Dollar a piece, okay, cool. I'll get a couple of these. Would you go 40 on the driver? Yeah, I would. All right, All right. so I got 40. Early bird gets warm. Thanks, sir. Yeah, take care. Have Good luck with your sale. Thank you, appreciate it. Morning. Morning. Good, how are you? Oh, that's well, all right. <laughs> How much are you asking for this? You know, I'm happy as my daughter. I guess. Okay. Oh, Were you looking at the whole thing or? Yeah, just everything in the box. I think everything in the box, it was. Let me just double check. I think he was asking like 65, but let me just. Are you interested? Probably not for that. I appreciate okay. it though. Okay, thanks. Have a great day. <laughs> <laughs> Thank Oh yeah, eight bucks. Oh, thank you. Here, let me change. Um, three. Oh, you only owe me two. Oh, sorry. Thank That's you. okay. See? <laughs> do you mind if I take the stickers yeah, off? Yeah, of course. You That's no, how I'm keeping them. track of what I'm yeah, doing. Yeah, that's a good way to do it. Thank good you. Good luck to you. I am back at the shop. I found a ton of stuff today. It's like every single sale I went to, I found something and it was a lot of really good stuff. Got it pulled out. I'm going to show you what I bought. Got a couple baseball bats for $2 each. This is an Easton Speed. Uh, this is uh, an aluminum bat, nothing that special. It goes for about $30. This one's worth a little bit more. This is a, uh, I guess the brand is Axe. Yeah, the brand is Axe. It's got this like funky Axe shaped handle and even the end of it has like a funky shape. This one's going for a little bit more, I think, maybe 40 or 50 bucks. Got a Cherries on Snow Yankee Candle Jar, 22 ounce, paid $2 for that. It's going for about 20 to 30 bucks. Got this really cool handmade Renaissance helmet. Somebody just welded this in their garage or something. I paid five bucks for that. Not really sure what it's worth. It was just too cool to pass up. They had another one there that was a different design. I just wasn't digging it as much as I was this one. 
Got some Bose Companion 20 computer speakers. A little bit scuffed up, but the price was right. I paid 25 for those, and they're going for between 100 and 150. Got a Patagonia women's jacket for five dollars. And to be honest, I don't know how to find like what style this is. I'm sure there's a number on here somewhere that I'll have to look up. I don't do a ton with clothing. I only know a little bit about clothing really, but when I find brands like Patagonia for a good price, I just pick them up. At that same sale, I got some clothing new with tags, polo, Ralph Lauren pants. Let's see, I got St. John's Bay pants. I don't think these are a particularly great brand, but they're new in the plastic. And then I got Izod shorts. New with the tags, I got all three of those for five dollars. So I'm into those for like I don't know a dollar seventy cents each, something like that. This was a crazy lucky find in '64 with Zelda Ocarina of Time for four dollars. This was a good find. Uh, Busilla Cruising Santa. These are really easy to walk by because they do not look like anything special. But trust me, these things sell. This specific one is going for like fifty bucks, sixty bucks, I think. I paid five bucks for it. Uh, Busilla is a good brand. There's all kinds of different patterns of all kinds of stuff, and just if you see them and they're cheap enough, just look them up because a lot of times they can sell for really good money. I've sold like some quilting patterns for a hundred, two hundred dollars. So always keep an eye out for the pattern stuff. Also keep an eye out for the Scentsy. This is the Scentsy Lyric. I paid four dollars. It's going for about thirty or forty. Um, I know Cincy warmers have been around for a while, but they're still a thing. People still like to buy them, and some of the retired ones uh, could have some really good value. Picked up this Cavaliers hat. I got she wanted five. I kind of bundled a few things, so I think I got a couple dollar discount. This is new in the plastic with all the stickers and everything. It's Adidas brand, so not sure that's going to be worth a ton. This was a great find. I almost didn't go to the sale because the guy only had like two or three things out and I couldn't really see what it was from the street. So I'm like, I'll just go up there and look and see what he has. And sure enough, he had this old Willesco, old smoky steam roller train. This thing is absolutely killer. I paid 40 bucks for it. Sales comps are between 150 and 250. Got this Casio MT52 keyboard. Uh, he had batteries in it, was tested it out for me, showed me everything worked. I'm like, yes, I will gladly give you five bucks. These are going between 60 and $70. Got Final Fantasy VII for PS1, even has the manual in there. I paid a dollar for that, it's going for about 25. I paid $6 for this Lego Brickheads Star Wars because I've sold some Brickheads in the past and done really well with them. This one is actually only going for about $10. So don't think that was a particularly a good buy. You might just give that to the kids. I got Adobe uh, CS6 Design Standard uh, Windows and Mac for $3. Has the uh, serial number in there. But I'm pretty sure there's a Vero on these. Uh, my buddy Tony said he tried listing one and eBay took it down, unfortunately. So I might have to list this on Mercari or Facebook Marketplace or something like that, I don't know. And I just noticed this is the student and teacher licensing, so academic ID required, yeah, so that's that's probably gonna hurt it. Um, if this was the standard version, they're going for like $200. I saw, I've seen some sold comps on eBay and the ones that sold on eBay must've just slipped through the cracks, I guess, but I'm not telling you to buy these and sell them on eBay, but I am telling you that there's value there. So if you see them for cheap, grab them and then just see what outlet you can sell them on. Got this Callaway Rogue driver. I paid 40 bucks for it and sales comps are between like 100 and 150. It's in pretty good shape. I don't see a lot of scuffs on the face. Yeah, overall this thing's in really good condition. Has the head cover too, so that's gonna help itself. And we're coming in here for the last of the stuff. I got a Brother KH230 knitting machine. There's actually two of them. I initially thought there was three of them but this third box is a uh, tension rod and stand. So there's no machine in there. There's a machine in each of those, both the same model number. I paid 150 for all three boxes and I saw sold comps for that machine between like 250 and $400. What's great is I've already got the boxes, everything ready to go. So I can list these things when they sell. I'll just add some more packing material, tape them up and ship them out the door. That is it for this video. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.